Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Job. Today is a rant video, unfortunately. I want to express my opinion about a experience that I had recently trying to get my Apple Pencil fixed. Recently it died on me, just randomly. One day it was working and the next day it just stopped connecting, it stopped trying to connect, um, it stopped charging, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't work generally. And I did everything in my power to try and get it connected because this is not a cheap device. Uh -huh. I restarted the Bluetooth, obviously, I restarted the iPad, I reset some network settings, and nothing seemed to work. Finally, I searched it on Google and then searched it again on Reddit because on Google you get these stupid, stupid, like top 15 like news article website things with ads everywhere, and I hate those, so I just went to Reddit and I got my answer immediately. My battery had died. Um, this is pretty common for this, but Honestly, I've only had it for two years. Like, why in the fuck is something developed, something this expensive, a tool this expensive, why is it developed to go out after two years? And I know, like, almost all of you are gonna be automatically jumping to, well, it's planned obsolescence, duh. Yeah, unfortunately, planned obsolescence has gotten to me yet again with this nickel pencil and it's insane because when I tried to send it into Apple to get it replaced or set up a, an appointment at a genius bar it just it didn't work because a couple of hours before my appointment the genius bar called me that said hey we're just making sure that you're still coming in for your appointment today and I said of course I want to get this thing checked out they were like okay can we just get a little bit more information about this and I was like uh sure what do you want to know they're like What's wrong with the what's wrong with the device? So I'm on the phone with this guy and I'm giving him his more information. He basically asked a bunch of questions like, "Well, did you restart your Bluetooth? Did you restart the iPad? Did you do this with your network settings?" And I said, "Yes to all of those. I've already done all this. I already know that the battery is dead." Like, he asked me if my warranty was out, and I was like, "Yes, I've had it for 2 years." And then he asked me, "Well, do you have Apple Care?" "Of course." And I said, "No, because I usually don't opt into that kind of thing." And he said, well, without Apple Care, all we could really do is take a look at it. And if we can't do anything about it, we'll send it out to Apple and they'll replace it for $109. And I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? So I either have to buy your Apple Care to extend my warranty or my measly one year warranty for something this expensive, dude. Are you kidding me? There are tech companies out there that offer five, 10 year warranties for this that's cheaper than this. Are you fucking serious, dude? Just because your ish nikov is nice and shiny and feels good in the hand, oh, we can charge over $100 for this shit and then give you a wish warranty. Yeah, cough cough, Apple. This is why no one likes you. Honestly, dude. So I asked the guy, so what? I'm gonna have to just buy a replacement for $130? He's like, yep, that's usually what people do in this case, and we usually recommend that as well, just because it's not worth the cost at this point in time. And I was like, really? Okay. Well, thanks for your time. I'm not going to be coming in for that appointment now. He's like, okay. And then I just hung up because it's ridiculous, man. Honestly, if I'm paying this much for a tool, like say from Boycom or even Huion, I'm going to expect that bitch to last a long ass time. And I know for a fact that it will last a long ass time because Wacom products from the 90s still work. And it's just, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I should not have to buy a brand new Apple Pencil two years after I got it. These are meant for professionals. Why are they designed to go out so fast? And you don't even get like a, oh, um, your battery ran out? Well, here's a free replacement because your battery ran out and it's irreplaceable. Thanks, Apple. Really appreciate you. You know what? I guarantee that even the cheaper companies manufacturing graphics tablets and have those rechargeable lithium ion pens in their, their kit, they will send you a new one if your dish dies. And it's just insane to me to think that a company that doesn't make nearly as much money as Apple is giving you free dish. My cat is here to ruin the video. Anyway, that's it for this rant. I wasn't trying to keep you guys for too long. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. This is fucking ridiculous. And this is why no one likes Apple because they don't provide you with a way to replace or fix your dish in any affordable fashion. 
even though this was a rant video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a lot of other videos coming to fruition, like the Doom review video. That one's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm really excited for that one. I just got a little bit more footage to collect, and we'll be good on that. And then we have more tablet reviews coming out. I recently just purchased a bunch of tablets to review them and then put them head-to-head -to -head together in a huge battle like I did with the um, Huyan and the Wacom. So there's some big stuff in the works and I really hope you guys are, you know, interested and I hope you guys are enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.